welcome to part one of the Leanbot AOI AOP integration. In this video, we're going to create a new project, set up the periodic task, and bring in the communication blocks necessary. Our first step is to create an offline project with the PLC we'll be using. Once this project is created, going to add the two modules to the Ethernet tree. In version 31, these AOPs are native to the Rockwell software, and we can find them by searching the NTI AG name, LM drive um, catalog number, or a description of the product, in our case, C1250. Once we have the module, we need to give it a name like any other Ethernet module, and an IP address. Now I will take the project online by downloading to the controller. In run mode, we can see that there are no network errors. And now I will go back offline and create the new periodic task. First we name the task and then we'll name the subsequent components inside that task. We use a periodic task to keep communication regular between the PLC and the Linmont drive and it's important to set the periodic task to be slightly faster than the RPI. This ensures that a packet is always ready when the PLC communicates with the drive. Once I've created this comms routine, we can go in and we can add the read and write block AOIs. Before I can add them to the ladder logic, I will need to import them. We'll click on the AOI folder, click on Import Add-on Instructions. These AOIs are found in the main AOI folder under Add-on Instructions, and the ones we're interested in are the LM Drive AOP Read as 18 and Write as 28. And here I will import or create both of them. The main function of these blocks is to take the Linmot communication packet and transform it into the access tag we will use throughout the rest of the program. As with any AOI, we need to give the individual block a name to reserve memory in the PLC. After that, we can link to the module we've created in the Ethernet tree, in our case bench drive colon I1 for input. And then we need to create the access tag. And again, this access tag will be used throughout the program to go between our other AOIs. The data type is that TSTLM access. Uh, from here, I'm going to right click to create both these tags. Uh, you can do the same thing in your project or use the shortcut Control W which we'll be using later on in this video. Once the access tag has been created, uh, you will notice that we can select it in the drop-down menu um, for subsequent AOIs. Now that we have the read and write blocks, we're going to download to the controller again and look at our communication. Once we're in run mode, we can examine the access properties. And within these access tags, we can see some familiar values. pull up the 
Will Not Talk uh, control panel. And with the motor switched off, we can examine the actual position and demand position. As you can see down towards the bottom of your screen. As I move back and forth by hand, we can see the values change. Alright, I will save the project and see you all in the next video where we add the basic housekeeping AOIs. Thank you for watching.